Hey everyone, it's Rajiv and welcome to my channel Rajiv's Reviews. In this video, I'm going to be giving my book review of Trick or Treat by Richie Tankersley Cusick. I picked up this book as part of the Point Horror Read Along, which is hosted by Alex from Hey Little Thrifter in the month of October. As you might know from my previous videos, and I think I've mentioned it before, I grew up reading all of these Point Horror and Fear Street books, so I was really excited to take part in this read along. If you are a fan of the series, or if you like 90s horrors and thrillers, then I recommend you check out her channel because it is very interesting and I provided the link to it below. Anyway, the book starts off with Martha, our main character, who has just moved in with her dad into this new house with her new stepmother and stepbrother Connor. Martha is your typical moody teenager who is pissed off that she has to change her whole life and move into the spooky old secluded house in the middle of nowhere. The house is actually referred to as the haunted Bedford house because around a year back, Elizabeth Bedford was murdered in the same room that Martha is staying in now. After Martha moves into the new house, she starts receiving calls uh, from an unknown person who says, trick or treat, you're dead. So Martha of course starts to freak out because Elizabeth's murderer was never found and she feels like the same murder is coming after her now. And Martha starts receiving other threats and she is convinced that the murderer is going to kill her on Halloween night just as he did with Elizabeth a year ago. Can Martha figure out who the killer is before the killer strikes her on Halloween? Okay, so this book was okay but really not the best. I feel like this author is a tamed version of R.L. Stein but without the gore and the chills. There's actually nothing wrong with it as such. It has all your cliched elements like a spooky house, um, haunted cemeteries, uh, the trees rustlings and the shadows moving. So all these elements are actually present in the story and there are actually some eerie and suspenseful moments but nothing really happens to make it stand out from other point horror books. Also throughout the story, all the characters are a suspect at one point or the other so when you actually find out who the killer is in the end you're not really surprised because at one point you thought they were the suspect so you actually think oh okay okay so that's how it was whatever but there are a few things which were fun to read in this book the book starts off really well and there are actually a lot of twists and turns that keep happening and each chapter ends in a cliffhanger, so you want to turn the page and find out what happens next. Martha is really annoying in the beginning, but she kind of grew on me and I started liking her as a protagonist and could sympathize with what she was going through. The author has actually put in all the elements which could be perfect for the spooky Halloween read. But I feel like if I had read this book back when it was first published in 1989, then I would have loved it because it was very new and fresh for that time and it was one of the first in this whole point horror series. But rereading it now after having read so many other such books, it felt very cliched and outdated. Overall, for this time, I thought this was a very average read and I would give it a rating of two and a half stars. Please share your thoughts and comments on the section below and do like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click on that bell icon to receive notifications on whenever I post something new. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.